Alright, so welcome back. Instead of life completely beating me down, this week it actually gave me a break, so I'm only a day late with episode 256 of JJK. And let me tell you right now, oh lord, it's cold-blooded. So this week in episode 256, we start off with Gojo in the casting chair trying to explain how it is he got kicked off his own show. Because I mean, come on now, we all know who the main protagonist really is. Yeah, you know, the writer was just hating, had to kill me off because he couldn't control what I was out there doing. Couldn't nobody stop me. I'm the best at what I do, for real. I mean, sh I'd have beat Sukuna for real if he hadn't gave the protagonist plot armor. Run that fade back. Come catch this. I'll smoke that whole pack real quick. But seriously, though, he's sitting and explaining to someone how Black Flash works. And on some level, it's kind of questionable who it is he's talking to specifically. Are we still back in the flashback where he's talking to Laruk? Or is he talking to Yuji at this point? But he goes on to explain how Koksen works and how it's the error between curse power and the blow itself is one millionth of a second. And spatial distortion actually occurs. He says he's lacking a bit of the explanation, but he's going to try and kind of give an example. There's three ways cursed energy works, and instead of holding back the cursed blow, suppose you go ahead and let it out. There's cursed power that strengthens the fist, cursed power that hits the opponent, and then the magical power that carries both, and it can be divided. But with this blend, it's not just about the timing, there's certain conditions that have to be met. And he goes on to explain that honestly, there's no specific conditions that can be adjusted. The amount of the blend can depend on the environment at that time and the opponent's cursed power. He goes on to say, I personally get laughed at when I say this, but I believe the humidity even is a part of the conditions that need to be met. I believe that Coxin is all about the space. So in short, there's no correct answer to the conditions for the occurrence of a black flash or how or when you do it. It's all about combining the techniques with the blow, and if it happens, even I can't handle a black flash. At times, I feel it depends on luck, and in fact, it's true. The consecutive record holder, Nanami is better than me. In a fight, I end my battles. They don't last long, so I don't have the chance to meet the conditions. As we get to the next panel, we start seeing all the fighters with Sukuna in the middle as he's taking a look and thinking, Hmm, I already beat that bitch. Miguel's over there looking real distraught. Yuji's heated right now, ready to get back in it. And his brother's over in the corner there looking like, come on, man. Ain't nobody gonna say nothing about this RCT being back for Sukuna. And somewhere along the lines, it looks like somebody's about ready to hit the dash and get up out of here. But then it's straight back to it. The two brothers go in and put in work using the blood art. Sukuna gets slammed up against the wall and gets held down. It looks like he's about to break free, but then out of nowhere, shank, he got caught up long sword style. I mean, Maki put it to him for real. That's straight to the sternum. Like, no, nah, man, he got to be out of there. But no, nah. whoop, whoop, whoop. Sukuna made the moves. And this got Chosho shook. He looking like, is this man really hitting a dash in the air? Come on, bruh. We can't do this. And then, boom. Cocks in. He pulls off another one. Maki took it to the chest. She done. She done. I mean, she looking like, wait. Did this man just really pull off a third one in one day? Oh, come on, dog. But then she goes on to say that even his normal flash output has also increased. What's happening? And after hitting her with the black flash, he went on to go ahead and take on the light skin pose. Now, y'all can't tell me right now Sukuna not looking like Gojo for real. So Choso hops in, tries to hit the sneak attack with the supernova. But nope, nope, Sukuna ain't having it. Left Choso looking back like, Nani? he skipped? Wait, uh, how? How? He behind me now. Oh, come on. And you know what happens next. Coxin! Black Flash, straight to the sternum. I mean, Sukuna got, <laughs> yo, he got the target on lock. Everybody catching these straight to the sternum. I mean, like Sukuna just running around out here, handing out Black Flashes like they on wholesale discount aisle. You get a Black Flash, you get a Black Flash. Everybody gets a Black Flash. But luckily, Choso was able, of course, to use that blood armor. 
went ahead and reduced a little bit of that damage and out of nowhere whack, just he gets slapped Sukuna is like wait 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 hold up hold up who the hell just hit me but then there's another conversation that's going on speaking on how to get hit by the black flash the spell power will increase and there's something they want to do before they lose control of their body and then that's when we see the tag come in put me in coach and at the same time, it looks like we got Miguel trying to take LaRue off the battlefield. He's like, look, bro, come on, man. <laughs> We're about to retreat, right? I mean, come on, Miguel. I wanted to give you props for last week, but now all of a sudden you trying to run? Oh, man, you weak. But LaRue stops and he says, no, nah, I still have one thing, one thing left undone. And we get back to the action where Itadori Yuji is just putting the beats on Sukuna. But Sukuna grabs him up. And right when he thinks he's got him, boop, got your nose. Nah, this ain't a child's game. This is a straight one shot right to the face. Pow, right in the kisser. Blood puncture. At that closer range, Itadori couldn't miss. And it does just enough to push Sukuna back. And Yuji gets ready to hit him with that left, right, good night. Because he's like, look, bruh, I'm the main protagonist of this story. You ain't stealing my shine hitting motherfuckers with the black flash. But it goes back to the other conversation that was being had. I sensed it in Shibuya. I sensed it in Gojo. I sensed it in Itadori Yuji. A premonition of the black flash. The same goes for what I'm sensing in Sukuna. And at this moment, that's when Sukuna feels like there's something off. Like he can't take his eyes off of that magician behind him. And who is he talking about? The man who shouts out, stay away from the kid. It's Laruk. And that's when you realize Laruk is calling out heart catch to take control of the mind and body. Now, this is where things get a little bit zesty. And listen, I'm not making this up. Man calls out to him, cutie, honey, look at me. Pause. All right. Pause. And he goes on to say, if you can do it at least once, even to your opponents, the heart can be captured in a surprising way. And that's when it happens. Coxa! The black flash to end all black flashes. I mean, look at this panel. Yuji put the hurts on man. All of this lightning all around him. I, that, that's not just the walls crumbling and everything up. No, no, no. That's the spark of black all around Yuji at that point as he's just putting work in on Sukuna and in the final panels it goes back to saying as the black sparks scatter around him Yuji Itadori awakens and that's the way we end this whole episode the perfect cliffhanger right there I mean come on awaken what does that even mean it looks like Itadori is actually going to step into the, you know, the limelight kind of in the way that he's supposed to. But I will say, um, I think that there's going to be at least one week break here. I'm not sure what's going to happen next week because it looks like there's going to be a one week break. So we might not get any JJK. If we do, I'll let you guys know that day. But hey, thanks a million for watching. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. I'll keep trying to put these videos out for you because I know it, how everybody feels about this uh, this manga, this anime. And I know we're all waiting for the anime to get started back up again. And, you know, see if the light skin brother himself comes back. But all right, that's all, everybody. We'll see you next time. Peace.